This week I wanted to improve my dexterity by learning how to spin a drumstick. Why a drumstick? Why not a pen? I mean, you don't often have a drumstick to hand. True. It's impractically long, hard and heavy. That's a good point. And it makes a hell of a noise when you drop it. Yeah, but a drumstick looks cooler than a pen, especially when you're a drummer. Which we're not. Like pen spinning, there are many ways to spin a drumstick. But I decided to learn the most complete version, the finger pass, where the drumstick spins around each finger from index to pinky and then back up again. When spinning from your index finger to your pinky, each position has the middle point of the triangle above the stick and the two outer points below the stick. On the way back from the pinky to the index finger, each finger is now on the other side of the stick. In total there are five triangles. The first triangle is only used at the beginning and then the remaining four triangles are repeated. To learn the movement, I started by using my opposite hand to move the drumstick through each position. Then I removed the supporting hand and worked through each position one by one. So the movement certainly isn't fluid or fast, but I'm pretty surprised at how well I can do after only 10 minutes. After another 20 minutes, I was getting faster. I realized that the key to a fluid motion was to relax the fingers and not apply too much tension. Use the thumb and middle finger to set the stick in motion and then apply small amounts of force with each finger to keep the momentum of the stick constant. Applying too much tension causes it to get trapped between the fingers. Too little and you risk dropping it or it falling to your palm. Over the next 30 minutes I made very little progress. The tendons in my hands felt strained so over the next few days I practiced in short sessions for around 30 minutes to one hour each day. Although it takes a couple of minutes to warm up at the start of the day this allowed my muscle memory to improve and within a couple of days I could do the movement easily without looking or thinking about it which meant that I could work the practice into my daily life. The only downside to this was that lapses in concentration can result in nasty consequences. Oh, and the horrible noise when you drop it, which will drive you and everyone around you crazy. Stop, now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But it does force you to improve your reflexes. When faced with the possibility of a horrible sound and pissing off your girlfriend, you quickly learn to catch the stick before it hits the floor. <laughs> a quick story about how I got this drumstick. Some eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that it actually has an inscription on it which says Biffy Clyro, as in the legendary Scottish rock band. I remember being at the O2 in London when Ben Johnston, the drummer of Biffy Clyro, was throwing out his sticks into the crowd and I saw one flying towards me and I thought to myself, at six foot three with these orangutan arms, this is mine. As I leapt up to grab it, my much shorter cousin Ben jumped in front of me and grabbed it and I was devastated. So how then did this come into my possession? Well, this series of events not happened only once, but it happened twice on two separate occasions with Ben beating me to the drumstick both times. But thankfully, Ben was so kind to actually give me the second drumstick. So thank you, Ben. By this point, I'd worked out that if the key to a fluid motion is the force applied by each finger, then the key to spinning it faster was down to how quickly you could get your fingers into the next position. The fingers have to move in two directions to get into the correct position, forward and backwards to apply pressure to the stick, and up and down to duck under it. By reducing the distance of both of these, you reduce the time between finger positions and thus increase your speed. The key to achieving this is to keep the stick as close to the tips of your fingers as possible which is easier said than done. Ah. At this point, my little finger is stopping me from improving. Not only is it the weakest, but it's also got the biggest difference between the previous finger, which means that when you're trying to keep the drumstick at the tip, it's really hard to keep it under control and moving at the same speed when it gets to this point. But after a total of three hours and 50 minutes of practice, this was the result. So as you can see, I can now spin the drumstick pretty well without having to think about it too much. I just need to keep practicing if I want to improve my speed. This trick is great fun, improves your dexterity, and is actually surprisingly relaxing, provided that you put a mat down and don't hit yourself. If you're interested in learning it, then here's a reminder of the technique for you to screenshot for future reference. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning new skills or achieving your goals, then please consider hitting that big red subscribe button below this video. If you have already, Thank you so much, I love you, and I'll see you next time.